everyone, it's me Jasmine again and welcome to the best day of my life. I absolutely love food. I don't think it's like any secret. Like everyone likes food, right? We have to eat food to live. But I'm kind of picky. I'm picky, but I'm like not that picky. I'm picky in that when I have a choice, when I'm by myself, I like really high quality food. Uh, if I'm with my friends and they want to eat like at a fast food place, I won't complain, but I will. I don't really eat fast food by myself. Oh, my stomach is growling. Like no joke, my stomach is growling. I haven't eaten yet. It's like, it's 11.55. Um, yeah, this is going to be painful to do this video. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, like, I don't really like... <laughs> Do you guys hear that? I don't like eating uh, fast food. I don't like eating like low quality food. Like I'll do it if like it's because of money or like because if my friends wanna eat there. But for the most part when I have a choice, I like to cook with high quality ingredients and I like to eat high quality food. When I get paid, I don't spend my money on clothes or like any fancy like jewelry or anything. I usually go to really nice restaurants and not just like when I get paid. Like I'm always going to nice restaurants because that's that is what I value. Um, my clothes that I wear, I don't go shopping that much. Like, can you believe here in Japan, I still have clothes from high school? Yes, I still have clothes from high school. Um, but when my clothes like break, like when my holes, <laughs> holes, when my clothes get holes in them, is when I will buy something new and I try to buy something that is good quality that will last a long time. So this top that I have, um, it is last. Well, this is kind of one of the newer items that I have. Um, yeah, but I'm all about quality in food and clothes and I only buy cl uh, new clothes if like something that I have is broken uh, or I can't wear it anymore. So what, like a month ago, two months ago, I was walking around Lopongi and I found this restaurant that had my initials on it. So I called it my food buddy. I have a food buddy here in Tokyo and we like try a lot of different foods together. It usually happens to be uh, Vietnamese food because we love Vietnamese food. Um, yeah, but I hit him up and I'm just like, hey, let's go to this restaurant. And so what, a few days ago we went to JG, or I think the actual name is called Jean Georges. I don't speak French, I can't. I think it's a Michelin starred restaurant because uh, inside the restaurant they had like Michelin star like guides and uh, when I googled them afterwards I found a website that's not their website um, that said that they had uh, one star but the actual restaurant the main restaurant in New York City um, JG or George oh, my stomach John George can you guys can you guys can you guys hear that? Like common sense would just say, Jasmine, go eat and then come back and make this video. But I don't have that kind of time today. So I'm gonna try to dish this out and I'm really sorry for the sounds that my stomach is making. But yeah, the, the restaurant in New York City has three stars, uh, three Michelin stars, but this one in Tokyo, I believe only has one. So me and my friend decided to go to this restaurant, what, two days ago, and I wanted to share this experience with you guys. Like I couldn't go all like all throughout the, the restaurant like recording and everything, but I will show you guys what we did and what we saw. So JG has like a lunch course, um, which is cheaper than their actual dinner course. So the lunch course is about 5,800 yen, which is translates to about like fifty dollars um so me and my friend we decided to do that that course plus the caviar course so the extra caviar um course that goes along with the lunch menu is an additional four uh four thousand yen which is about like thirty five dollars or a little bit closer to forty dollars so in total we paid about like not including like our drinks and everything. In total for just like the meal by itself, um, we paid about like 9,800 yen, um, which translates to about like $95-ish. Like don't judge me, don't judge me, it was worth it. Um, but yeah, so we paid about like almost $100 for this lunch meal. Um, we did get like drinks to go with it. Um, the first course, I am like looking down at the pictures in like the video down below, so if you see me looking down, that's why. The first thing that they gave us was this like blended asparagus cream sauce stuff with like slices of cheese and like little like, I think it was like dried bacon bits or something like that. 
Um, my friend, he liked it, but yeah, for me, like, the first, the initial taste was good, but like, the aftertaste was just like strong and powerful and really bitter, and I was not feeling it. Like, I finished it. I'm not gonna like, not finish my food at a Michelin starred restaurant, but like, um, I didn't like it that much. After the initial like, first course, the, the asparagus thing goop, um, they gave us like the biscuits. So like biscuits always, um, biscuits and bread always come like throughout the meal. But the first biscuit, they only gave it to us once. It tasted like uh, KFC biscuits back in the States. It was so good. It was so, so good. I just love that biscuit. <laughs> I cannot find the same quality of biscuits here in Japan and it really makes me angry. Um, but yeah, that biscuit was amazing. After the first course, after like the, I don't know why, like it takes me a long time to think about what is that word for that green stuff. At first I think of like avocado, then I think avocate, which is avocado in Spanish in some countries. And um, then I think asparagus, eh, that's it, asparagus, yes. After the asparagus stuff um, and the bread, our next uh, first dish, I guess, was the caviar because we got the caviar uh, course. So the caviar, it wasn't my first time having caviar and like usually I told you guys how um, I dated a, a Russian for like five years in the past and I guess it's, it's like part of their culture to eat caviar so in the past for like New Year's and stuff we would eat caviar with eggs um, like my ex's mom she would boil an egg and then she'd like dice it and then we would eat yeah like caviar with egg uh, toasts not like real toast like baguettes um toasted baguettes and like green like chives or like green scallions or something like that but uh, and butter so i was kind of used to eating caviar with eggs uh so when i tried this i was kind of surprised because i never of course i've never had it like this before but um for the second course we had like the caviar on top black caviar on top of an egg and there's like this creamy stuff um i'll try to find everything um and i'll post it along the lines of this video sides of this video and then inside of the egg was uh the the, the yolk of the egg the yolk wasn't cooked all the way so it was still very liquidy um, but the chef recommended that we eat the caviar by itself first and then uh, afterwards we mix the caviar with the yolk of the egg and it was delicious it was really good but I already had that taste before just from my ex's mom um, making like something similar but I've tasted that type of creaminess before I've tasted that taste before so to me like this was really good but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary uh, I don't even know if maybe they were influenced by Russia or Russian culture. I don't know. I've never seen this type of... I've never seen caviar served like this before. I have no idea. But it was delicious. If you've never tried anything like it, I would recommend uh, going here just to try it. Uh, our next dish. So we were given in the... F Let me pull up the menu actually. The title of the caviar dish is called Toasted Organic Egg Yolk Caviar and Dill. So dill, that's it. Um, that's what my ex's mom would use, dill. And so they used basically all of the ingredients that my ex would make, um, but they just kept it in the egg and not used bread or butter. I don't know if they used butter actually. So I think if you were to go and you didn't get the caviar option, um, I think you would uh, get like four different uh, dishes, maybe five, not including the avocado, Avocate. Asparagus! <laughs> Not including the asparagus dish. Like the asparagus, like little tasting thing, whatever, is not included in the menu, but I think like everyone gets it. So I think in total, uh, you get to choose like four different dishes. So for my first official dish, I got this tuna tartare. And I got it because the waiter, when I was talking to the waiter, he was saying that most people get it and he would recommend it. Um, so I didn't really picture what exactly it was. I think before I got it, I thought it was going to be like cooked tuna meat and like that's about it. It said with avocado too and I can't really eat too much avocado um, but I can eat a little bit. So that was my image. Um, but when it was given to me, uh, it was raw tuna with avocado and uh, like radish, like sliced radish uh, on top. Now, I don't mean to sound um, like uh, high maintenance or anything, um, but 
To me, I've had so many other dishes that were similar to this, especially in Peru. In Peru, I forgot the name of this of the dish, but it is tuna with avocado and sometimes mango and like a few other things. And it's all like, it's molded in this like circle thing. They press it down, then they take it off. And then it looks exactly the same as the dish that they served me. Uh, usually there's not radish on top of it. So when I saw this, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like when I go to a restaurant like this, I'm expected to be wowed by something that I've never heard of. And this is just my personal experience, by the way. Um, but I'm expecting to be wowed by like a new experience. Like I treat food as an experience. Um, so when I saw this, I wasn't disappointed, but I was kind of, well, I was a little bit disappointed, not on the restaurant's behalf, but just more so because like, it's something that I've seen before. It's something that I've tasted before. When I was eating it, it was delicious. It was really good. But uh, like the other dishes that I've had that are exactly the same as this one, um, they tasted about the same. They're all delicious. Uh, oh yeah, the other ones like that I got in Peru had crab meat with it too. And that just like made my day. So think of like raw tuna, avocado, mango, crab meat, and there's like some salsa or something like that with it. It was good if you've never had like a dish like this. Um, would I recommend going to this restaurant just for this dish? No, because you can go somewhere else and get it cheaper, uh, especially in Peru. Um, but it was really good. My friend got broccoli soup with Thai, like Thai broccoli soup. He said that it was, it was okay, like only okay. I tasted it, I've never really had broccoli soup before, and to me it was okay. Like I didn't taste the spice of the Thai, but I only had like a little sip of his. Um, but yeah, to me it was, it was just okay, and for him it was just okay. So already in the beginning of like going to this restaurant where we had kind of like, not necessarily high hopes, but just because like we didn't know it was Michelin star restaurant before we went there by the way um we only started to suspect it when we got in and we saw like the guides for michelin and everything and then when i googled it i'm like oh wait i think they're michelin like they have one star um yeah so uh my friend he just thought like the soup was okay and already into the the lunch we're just like not wild like the atmosphere was really nice you can feel like kind of there is a dress um dress criteria dress uh what is the word um dress is enforced like you have to dress formally to go to this restaurant and my friend doesn't usually dress that formally um so that was interesting but um yeah the, the interior is really nice but to me mm, i wasn't i wasn't like that wild about the restaurant moving on into the lunch um our third course yeah our third course was it third Second, I don't know. Our next dish, uh, I got the diver scallops. Um, it says diver scallops, caramelized cauliflower, caper raisin emulsion. So the sauce, the sauce was um, like a caper raisin emulsion sauce. And yeah, I got the scallops. I got the scallops because I absolutely love Gordon Ramsay and he always makes scallops. And of course, I know that this is not how he, he makes his dish, but I just felt like inspired to get it because I love Gordon Ramsay. My friend got, oh, what did he get? Let me see. I can't remember. This happened just like, what, two days ago. Um, but I'm pretty sure my friend got the scallops too because like I have no like footage of like, what exactly he got so i think he got the scallops too because i remember he said that he didn't like the sauce that much like he wasn't a big fan of the sauce like i loved the sauce i thought it was good um the scallops were tasty i thought the scallops were like perfectly done i loved the cauliflower on top too um yeah like i wouldn't would i go back to this restaurant just for these scallops no i wouldn't do that but um yeah, I thought it was delicious. So at this point, the scallops were probably, eh, scallops. Yeah, the scallops and the caviar were probably my favorite two dishes. Um, yeah, in terms of originality, I would think that maybe the scallops were the most original. Um, but who knows, considering that the caviar tasted 
uh, like had the same taste from like my ex's mom and the tartare uh, was basically the same from like a dish in Peru. This could also be like an imitation from some other country, I don't know. Um, in that case, I could probably get something similar uh, for cheaper. But yeah, I, I like the scallops there. I was a big fan of the scallops. After the scallops were our main dishes. So the main dishes, you have a choice. You can choose between what is included in the, the lunch course, or you can get additional items for like plus 1,000 yen or plus 2,000 yen. So the items that were included with the lunch course was a Parmesan crusted chicken, which my friend got. And then I got the prosciutto wrapped pork. Uh, white wine glazed mushrooms and sage. So my friend and I, we decided to just like uh, get what was already included in the lunch menu. So let's start with my friend's dish, the Parmesan crusted chicken. So my friend's dish looked amazing. When I tried it, it was delicious. It had like a kind of citrusy taste. Um, it was so good. I, I loved his dish way more than mine. I got the prosciutto wrapped pork. Um, to me, it was just kind of like not bland, like it was really flavorful, the pork was at least, but the pork and the mushrooms, they there was like no connection between them. Like I would have wished that maybe uh, the, the mushrooms were like in some like rice or with pasta or something like that, because it just, it tasted like something was missing. Like there was no connection between the dishes. Um, it was like the pork was pretty good and juicy. Like everything was cooked to perfection. It was good, but um, I wasn't wowed at all. I wasn't surprised at all. And yeah, I wouldn't get this again at all. I would probably get my friend's dish, um, but he, he really liked his dish, but I would probably get my friend's dish um, because it had more of a wow factor and it looked more put together versus my pork and mushrooms. <laughs> Yeah, it even seemed like they were on different continents, if that makes sense. Finally, it was time for dessert. And for me, this is probably like the best part. Aside from the caviar, like the caviar was really good. Um, but yeah, the best part for me was dessert. So for the desserts, I got the warm chocolate cake uh, with vanilla ice cream. It's kind of like a standard dessert, I know, don't judge me. But for me, you can't really go wrong with like a warm chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream. My friend got the, my friend got like a combination of different like sorbets and a, I think there was like a little cake there. I think this is what he got. I think it was the um, strawberry sorbet peach fruit bar. But my dessert was phenomenal. Uh, I have a favorite place in Tokyo where I get the absolute best um, chocolate fondant cakes with vanilla ice cream. It is like so flipping good and it's not expensive at all. And yeah, it's my, one of, in one of my places. Oh, actually I went there for my birthday uh, and I showed you guys a picture of it, a little video of like me eating that cake. So flipping good. Uh, so this cake that I had at JG, at this JG restaurant, it kind of rivaled it. Like, I would definitely go to my other restaurant in a heartbeat because it's much cheaper and it tastes along the same quality. Well, it is the same quality to me, but the cake here was absolutely delicious. I don't, it wasn't really a fondant cake because when I opened it, like nothing came out. It was just more moist and it had like chocolate sauce in the middle, but it wasn't like the chocolate sauce didn't like fall out or anything. It was well like um, caked on to like the insides of the cake. And then there's also like this little hard piece of toffee, I guess it was, I don't know. Um, but for me, like you can't go wrong with a warm chocolate cake. Uh, with chocolate syrup and vanilla and vanilla ice cream, so I absolutely loved it. My friend again, like uh, he let me try his um, sorbet uh, ice cream and like stuff. Of course, again, you can't really go wrong with ice cream. Yes, you can, but we, they didn't go wrong in this restaurant. The sorbet was delicious. My friend's dessert was delicious. At the very end, we had tea and coffee. With the tea and coffee, they served like little like candy treats, which were good. <laughs> like two out of the like four types were good. Um, I think one was like this apricot square candy stuff that was really tart but really delicious. And then the bottom one was this like circular. I still have no idea what it was and nowhere do I see it on their website because it's like, I think it's just like not something you have to order. They just serve it just like the asparagus stuff. Um, so I don't see that on their website. 
But yeah, both of those candies were really good. So let's conclude this video. So overall, did I like this restaurant? I thought it was just okay, but this is just my personal taste. So I think that it's because I have I have such like a diverse background and I have so much experience with like different countries and different cultures that I wasn't as wowed as someone who doesn't. But I, I kind of wish that if they were going to do the caviar and if they're going to do like the tartare um, and if they're ex inspired from like these countries like Russia, Peru, I don't even know if it's like necessarily a Peruvian dish or where Peru got it, but I taste it a few times in Peru. But if they were going to take these like dishes from these countries, I would have hoped that they um, manipulated it more to like, to ex to like the JG standard of quality or the JG style of restaurant. Because to me, it seemed like something I can just go to like these countries and I can just get. Uh, of course, they were a little bit different, but to me, they weren't too far off from the mark. Um, so overall, I wouldn't really like go out of my way to go to this restaurant. I think that this this restaurant would be good if you're going on an expensive date. Uh, again, I only went there for lunch though. Um, but I think that if you wanted to go on a date, this is a good place for an expensive date. Um, and more so geared towards people who like don't like to travel that much maybe or aren't um, well versed in food. Not saying that I'm well versed in food, but I'm just saying that I like to try so many new things that all of these flavors I've had before, um, the style I've had before. So I wasn't like as impressed, but I'm pretty sure someone who doesn't have the time or doesn't have the interest as much um, in food or other cultures, I'm pretty sure it would be a great place to take them to just like wow them. Um, price, I think for lunch, the lunch price is pretty standard. Um, again, it would be a good place for like a lunch date for someone that you uh, really like. Um, yeah, but overall I would not like give it, if I was to give my own Enlightize rating out of five, I would probably give this restaurant like a two. Um, yeah, two out of five. Uh, I would not, I will not be going to this restaurant anytime soon, I think. But it's definitely a great place for good quality food, but that's like many places in Tokyo. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it didn't make you too hungry, but I'm like, I'm hungry myself, okay? Um, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I've been doing a whole lot of modeling lately with Kaz Takahashi Photography. Um, so please go check them out. Uh, tell me what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe to this video, subscribe to this channel, like, and follow me on Facebook. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.